हाय इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस द रिएक्शन ड्यू टू द क्लीवेज ऑफ द बॉन्ड प्रेजेंट बिटवीन द ऑक्सीजन आइटम एंड द हाइड्रोजन आइटम सो दोज रिएक्शंस आर फर्स्ट वन इज रिएक्शन विथ एक्टिव मेटल्स alcohols reacts with active metals to liberate hydrogen gas and form sodium alkoxide the second reaction is reaction with metal hydrates so alcohols reacts with the metal hydrates to form corresponding metal alkoxides and hydrogen gas is liberated then third reaction is reaction with monocarboxylic acids that is esterification reaction so monocarboxylic acids reacts with alcohol in presence of concentrated h2so4 to form an ester here sulfuric acid acts as a protonating agent as well as dehydrating agent it is a reversible reaction the next reaction is reaction with acetyl chloride again reaction with acetyl chloride alcohols reacts with acetyl chloride to form esters in presence of pyridine as a catalyst then last reaction is reaction with grignard reagent alcohol is an active hydrogen containing compound all active hydrogen containing compounds reacts with grignard reagent to form alkenes and we discussed more on the acidic nature of alcohols alcohols are acidic in nature due to the polar nature of hydroxyl group and alcohols are weaker acid than water because water is a better proton donating agent compared to that of alcohols and ka value of water is 10 to the power of minus 14 whereas the ka value of alcohols lies in between 10 to the power of minus 16 to 10 to the power of minus 18 and then the alkoxide which is formed after the give off of proton is unstable because of the presence of the r group or attachment of the r group because r group destabilizes the alkoxide ion these are the things we have discussed in the last class the next part is reaction due to the cleavage of c reaction due to the cleavage of the bond present between the carbon atom and the hydroxyl group in this heading we are going to study the first reaction reaction with hydrogen halides this reaction is already discussed in the first chapter haloalkenes that is preparation of haloalkenes from alcohols again we have just see the reverse the things once so the hydrogen halides hx it may be hcl hbr or hi when alcohols reacts with hydrogen halides in presence of anhydrous zinc chloride as a catalyst or concentrated sulfuric acid as a catalyst form respective halo alkenes and h2o is formed consider an example here see alcohol alcohol reacts with hydrogen halide in presence of an catalyst anhydrous zinc chloride forms if we use hx here here we will get rx plus h2 that is allo alkene this is allo alkene if this x may be replaced by either chloro or bromo or hydro form respective allo alkenes if i use here chloro here chloro alkene is formed if i use bromo here it will bromo alkene if i use hydro it forms hydro alkene let's see consider another example here this is that is ethanol ethanol reacts with hydrochloric acid hcl in presence of anhydrous zinc chloride as a catalyst forms chloroethane and h2 see a mixture of anhydrous zinc chloride and concentrated hcl is called as lucas reagent this is the famous reagent which we used for the 
distinguish between primary secondary and tertiary alcohols so how means c has concerned itself upon reacting with alcohol in presence of anhydrous zinc chloride it forms what alkalin that is if it is hydro hcl it forms what chloroalkin so depending on the reactivity depending upon the reactivity of various alcohols that is primary secondary and tertiary alcohols the we can able to distinguish which one is tertiary secondary or primary based on the turbidity based on the turbidity see we know that in this reaction tertiary alcohols are highly reactive towards this reaction towards this reaction followed by secondary and followed by primary again why means because the this reaction takes place via sn1 mechanism or sn2 mechanism depending on the reaction conditions consider if i use the tertiary alcohol tertiary alcohol hx h plus and x minus see here it will attack this proton and see here the lone pair of electrons attacks the proton of the hydrogen chloride forming an protonated alcohol to convert the hydroxyl group into a see we know that hydroxyl group is a bad living group to convert into a good living group we are protonating the alcohol so after the protonation there is a loss of water molecule from this and there is a formation of carbo cation see to <coughs> neutralize the charge present on the oxygen atom positive charge on the oxygen atom the bond present between the carbon and the oxygen atom is going to break here to form a carbo cation this carbo cation is tertiary in nature so tertiary carbo cations are stabilized by the positive inductive effect and also hyper conjugative effect as we know this from the first view so tertiary carbo cations are stabilized by what positive inductive effect and the hyper conjugative effect so tertiary carbo cations are more stable than what secondary secondary are more stable than primary therefore towards this reaction tertiary is more reactive than secondary secondary is more reactive than primary therefore tertiary alcohol forms immediate turbidity tertiary alcohol forms what immediate turbidity immediate turbidity is formed by which alcohol that is tertiary alcohol tertiary alcohol forms immediate turbidity secondary alcohols form turbidity after 5 minutes after 5 minutes and primary alcohol doesn't form turbidity at room temperature so based on the time taken to form turbidity that is alkalin that is chloroalkin the alcohols can be able to distinguish into tertiary secondary and primary by lucas reagent lucas reagent is a mixture of concentrated hcl and anhydrous zinc chloride again it is very important question for exam point of view both practical and theory so the next here the order of reactivity of various hydrogen halides is hi is more reactive than hbr hbr is more reactive than hcl because hi its hi is a strong acid when compared to hbr and hcl even 
in case of hi we doesn't require any catalyst it can able to proceed the reaction by alone therefore hi is more reactive than hbr hbr is more reactive than hcl if we use any catalyst that means we can use even concentrated sulfuric acid for the conversion of for the reaction of hydrogen halide allied with alcohol but in case of hydrogen iodide we doesn't use concentrated sulfuric acid because the iodide is going to convert into iodine in presence of concentrated sulfuric acid as because sulfuric acid can act as an oxidizing agent also therefore in case of hi in case of hi we will not use the concentrated sulfuric acid as a catalyst because the iodide is going to convert into iodine in presence of concentrated sulfuric acid as concentrated sulfuric acid is a strong oxidizing agent is reaction of alcohols with thionyl chloride this reaction is studied in the allo alkenes chapter that is preparation of chloroalkenes from alcohols any of it rip again repeat again once again alcohol upon reacting with thionyl chloride in presence of pyridine as a catalyst under reflexed condition under reflexed condition forms chloroalkenes liberating the sulfur dioxide and hcl gas example for this consider ethanol that is ethyl alcohol upon reacting with thionyl chloride in presence of pyridine as a catalyst under reflux condition gives chloroethene so2 and hcl are by products in this reaction the by products so2 and hcl are gaseous in nature therefore this reaction is widely used in all industries for the preparation of chloro compounds from alcohols or the replacement of this hydroxyl group by chlorine atom that is chlorination of alcohols can be done by using thionyl chloride it is widely used in all industries therefore this is the best method for the conversion of hydroxyl group into chloro compounds okay so here again this reaction is a named reaction this is called as darzen's reaction this reaction is a darzen's reaction so again it is very important the question SOCl2 is employed in for industries for the chlorination purpose why means because the sulfur dioxide and hcl are gaseous in nature they can be removed or they escape easily leaving behind the pure chloro compound therefore this method is widely used in industries okay this reaction under the category of reaction involving cleavage of the carbon and hydroxyl group is reaction with phosphorus halides so phosphorus halides we have two types of halides means that is phosphorus can form two types of halides phosphorus trihalides and phosphorus pentahalides so among the phosphorus trihalides pcl3 can be used and even pbr3 and phi3 that is phosphorus tribromide and phosphorus triiodide also can be used but those two that is pbr3 and phi3 can be prepared in situ that means they before during the reaction red phosphorus and bromine in the same way red phosphorus and iodine is used to prepare in situ okay so here consider an alcohol upon reacting with phosphorus trihalide phosphorus trihalide they form respective allo alkene forming phosphorus acid as a by product here for the balancing purpose i am writing 3 so this 3 alcohols three molecules of alcohol upon reacting with one mole or one molecule of phosphorus trihalide the three hydroxyl group so one roh roh means one hydroxyl group we are writing three alcohol molecules therefore these three hydroxyl group is replaced by the halogen atom 
to form allo alkene so here is the same way here consider an example c2h5 that is ethanol upon reacting with phosphorus trichloride forms chloroethene forms chloroethene and phosphorus acid a simple way phosphorus trichloride upon reacting with ethanol forms chloroethene and phosphorus acid the next reaction is reaction of alcohol with phosphorus pentachloride so reaction of alcohol with pentachloride gives chloroalkane there is a formation of phosphorus oxychloride trichloride and hydrogen chloride so example again same ethanol upon reacting with phosphorus pentachloride forms chloroethene phosphorus oxytrichloride and hcl in the last sessions we have discussed about the reactions due to the cleavage of the bond between the oxygen atom and the hydrogen atom we have studied five reactions and followed by reactions due to the cleavage of the bond between the carbon atom and the hydroxyl group under this heading we have studied three reactions and now we are going to study the reactions involving both alkyl group as well as the hydroxyl group so under this heading we are going to study the following type of reactions the first one is dehydration second one is dehydrogenation and third one is oxidation so we know that dehydration means process of removal of water so we know that dehydrating agent also so in the esterification reaction the concentrated sulfuric acid acts as a dehydrating agent we have studied and so many dehydrating agents also there here yeah, followed by dehydrogenation here yeah, catalytical dehydrogenation dehydrogenation means removal of hydrogen d means d means removal and hydrogen dehydrogenation means removal of hydrogen from any substrate here we are going to study the catalytical dehydrogenation we use the catalyst copper let's see the example later so followed by the third type of reaction oxidation oxidation again a very important term we have studied or we have discussed in the last class oxidation addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen or loss of electrons so we are going to deal these three type of reactions under the heading reactions involving both alkyl group as well as the hydroxyl group the first reaction is the dehydration dehydration in this alcohols upon reacting with concentrated sulfuric acid or phosphoric acid or p2o5 or any strong acids under high temperatures or at higher temperatures forms alkene forms alkene see consider an example here ethanol ch3 ch2 oh in presence of a strong acid that is concentrated sulfuric acid at 443 kelvin forms ethene plus water you see the water is removed from ethanol that is dehydration taken place here so this is the dehydration of alcohol to alkene it has a mechanism and the mechanism is very important for three marks for the board exam that the question is explain the mechanism of dehydration of alcohol to alkene or ethyl alcohol to ethene see the how the mechanism takes place and that is the first step the first step is this is ethanol the first step involves the protonation the first step involves the protonation protonation of alcohol to form protonated alcohol or alkyl oxonium ion see when we consider a specific example this is ethanol ch3 ch2 oh the lone pair of electrons attacks the proton 
दिस प्रोटोन इज गिवन बाय द एसिड कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड बिफोर दिस एच टू एस ओ फोर वी नो दैट सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड इज ए स्ट्रॉन्ग डाइबेसिक एसिड सो डिसोसिएट्स टू फॉर्म एच प्लस एंड एच एस ओ फोर माइनस एच प्लस एंड एच एस ओ फोर माइनस एच प्लस दैट इज प्रोटोन एंड एच एस ओ फोर बाई सल्फेट हाई ऑन दिस द लोन पेयर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स प्रेजेंट ऑन द हॉक्सन आइटम अटैक्स द प्रोटोन टू फॉर्म प्रोटोनेटेड हॉल्कोहॉल हियर द ऑक्सन आइटम सी आफ्टर अटैकिंग ऑन दिस प्रोटोन द गेट अटैच एंड नाउ द ऑक्सीजन हैज वन टू थ्री बॉन्ड्स देर फोर वी हैव रिटर्न द पॉजिटिव चार्ज ऑन द ऑक्सन आइटम दिस इज कॉल्ड एज प्रोटोनेटेड हॉल्कोहॉल और सी दिस इज इथाइल दिस इज इथाइल एंड दिस इज ऑक्जोनियम इथाइल ऑक्जोनियम हयन द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज प्रोटोनेशन ऑफ इथाइल हॉल्कोहॉल टू फॉर्म प्रोटोनेटेड हॉल्कोहॉल और इथाइल ऑक्जोनियम हयन and the second step the protonated alcohol which is there you see there is a bond between the carbon atom and the oxygen atom to neutralize the positive charge on the oxygen atom the bond present between this carbon and the oxygen is going to break and to form a carbocation to form a carbocation and water so therefore the step 2 is loss of water molecule loss of water molecule from the protonated alcohol from the protonated alcohol to form to form primary carbocation to form primary carbocation this is primary ethyl carbocation so the step 2 is loss of water molecule from protonated alcohol to form primary carbocation see here the positive charge is in the carbon atom there is this carbon atom as have two hydrogens and one methyl group therefore it is primary in nature and in the step 3 see to neutralize the charge on this carbon atom there is a loss of proton there is a loss of proton from this to form ethene to form ethene the bond present between this carbon atom and this hydrogen will move to here because of the loss of proton h plus to form ethene third step is loss of proton to form ethene loss of proton to form ethene so the dehydration of alcohol to alkene involves three steps in the step 1 see alcohol undergo protonation to form protonated alcohol or for this example it forms ethyl oxonium ion from the ethyl oxonium ion there is a loss of water molecule to form primary carbocation in the last step there is a loss of proton to form ethene so this is the mechanism this mechanism is very important from the exam point of view it will be for 3 marks okay in the last session we have discussed the dehydration of alcohol into alkene we studied the example ethyl alcohol reacts with concentrated h2so4 that is sulfuric acid at a temperature of about 443 kelvin dehydration takes place to form ethene in the same way ethyl alcohol is a primary alcohol so we have studied that primary ethyl alcohol gives what ethene now we are going to study about the dehydration of secondary alcohols and tertiary alcohols see the example here so this is isopropyl alcohol a secondary alcohol upon reacting with 85% phosphoric acid at a temperature of about 440 kelvin 
dehydration takes place to form propene dehydration takes place results in the elimination of hydrogen from this carbon atom and this oh to form propene see next another example this is tertiary butyl alcohol this is tertiary butyl alcohol reacts with c the 20% phosphoric acid at 358 kelvin to form butene to form butene this is isobutene c if you see the these two reactions and we compare the reaction of ethyl alcohol the conditions varies from one alcohol to another alcohol here here the temperature of e is for secondary alcohol is 440 kelvin here the temperature is around 358 kelvin but for the ethyl alcohol it is 443 kelvin from these conditions we can say that the tertiary alcohol reacts at milder conditions when compared to secondary alcohol secondary alcohol reacts under milder conditions when compared to primary alcohol so again for this order of reactivity of various alcohols towards dehydration reaction is as follows that is tertiary is greater than secondary secondary is greater than primary alcohol this can be explained based on the stability of the carbocations formed during the reaction course okay what did you say see here. this is the reaction of ethyl alcohol ethyl alcohol with concentrated sulfuric acid at different conditions yesterday we have studied the reaction of ethyl alcohol with concentrated sulfuric acid at 443 kelvin now we are going to study about the ethyl alcohol reaction with concentrated sulfuric acid but the temperature is different but the temperature is different so consider here ethyl alcohol reacting with concentrated sulfuric acid at room temperature to form ethyl bisulfite here sulfuric acid we know that it is a strong dibasic acid which gives just one proton c h2 so4 gives one proton means h plus and hso4 minus this is bisulfate ion and this is the proton this proton is accepted by this hydroxyl group and converted into h2o and converted into h2o and the negative part that is this bisulfate ion attacks the electrophilic carbon to form ethyl bisulfate so ethyl alcohol reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid at different reaction conditions the one is at 443 kelvin it forms ethene no doubt about that at the same time ethyl alcohol reacts with the concentrated sulfuric acid at room temperature to form ethyl bisulfate the product is same the dehydration removal of water and in another condition same ethyl alcohol reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid at 413 kelvin at 413 kelvin or 140 degree celsius it forms an a functional compound that is functional isomer of the alcohol that is ether c here ether functional compound is formed the name is c here one ethyl here is another ethyl that is diethyl and the functional group is ether diethyl ether the removal of water c takes place to form diethyl ether the iupac name of this compound is ethoxy ethene ethoxy ethene another yesterday what we studied see here ch3 ch2 oh 
द रिएक्शन कंडीशन इज कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड एट फोर फोर्टी फॉर्म्स ही तीन सी एच टू सी एच टू प्लस एच टू दीज थ्री रिएक्शंस इट इज यस्टर्डे वी स्टडीड एंड दिस इज द रिएक्शन ऑफ इथाइल अल्कोहल विथ द सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड हट वन इज एट रूम टेम्परेचर अनदर वन विथ 413 थर्टीन केलविन रो टेम्परेचर एंड अनदर वन विथ फोर फोर्टी थ्री केलविन टेम्परेचर एट रूम टेम्परेचर इट फॉर्म्स इथाइल बाई सल्फेट हट फोर हंड्रेड एंड थर्टीन केलविन इट फॉर्म्स डाई इथल इथर और एथॉक्सी इथेन एट फोर फोर्टी थ्री केलविन इट फॉर्म्स इथिन सो द नेक्स्ट रिएक्शन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द डी हाइड्रोजिनेशन सो हैज दिस डी हाइड्रोजिनेशन मीन्स डी मीन्स रिमूव हाइड्रोजन मीन्स हाइड्रोजन हैज दैट इज रिमूवल ऑफ हाइड्रोजन फ्रॉम एनी सबस्ट्रेट इज कॉल्ड एज डी हाइड्रोजिनेशन दिस रिएक्शन कम्स अंडर द क्लास ऑफ रिएक्शन दैट इज रिएक्शन ड्यू टू द क्लीवेज अथवा रिएक्शन ड्यू टू इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ बोथ आल्काइल ग्रुप एंड हाइड्रोक्सिल ग्रुप सो कंसिडर एन एग्जाम्पल यर दिस इज ईथल आल्कोहल when ethyl alcohol vapors are passed over when ethyl alcohol vapors are passed over preheated copper preheated copper so we have to heat the copper before passing the alcoholic vapors at 300 degrees celsius when as soon as the alcoholic vapors are passed through this preheated copper at 300 degrees celsius or 573 kelvin it forms an carbonyl compound that is acetaldehyde here the removal of hydrogen takes place that is the this is the hydroxyl group the next carbon atom is alpha carbon atom one hydrogen atom from this carbon atom and the hydrogen attached to the oxygen atom gets cleaved to form hydrogen gas here it is involving both the alkyl group as well as the hydroxyl group so ethyl alcohol when passed over preheated copper at 300 degrees celsius it forms an acetaldehyde liberating hydrogen gas and the next reaction is the secondary alcohol that is isopropyl alcohol same when isopropyl alcohol vapor star passed over preheated copper at 300 degrees celsius same see this is the alpha carbon atom it contains one hydrogen atom so the hydrogen atom of the alpha carbon atom and the hydrogen attached to the oxygen atom of the hydroxyl group combined together to form what hydrogen gas which gets liberated to form a carbonyl compound that is a ketone this is the ketonic functional group and the compound is acetone iupac name is propanone iupac name is propanone the isopropyl alcohol passed over preheated copper at 300 degrees celsius to form acetone primary alcohols gives aldehydes generally and secondary alcohols gives what ketones and when comes to the tertiary butyl alcohol tertiary butyl alcohol as there is no alpha hydrogen atom attached to this carbon atom because all are the methyl groups this tertiary alcohol or tertiary alcohol doesn't undergo dehydrogenation primary alcohol secondary alcohol undergoes dehydrogenation to form carbonyl compounds but tertiary alcohols doesn't undergo dehydrogenation as it doesn't contain alpha hydrogen atom it's very very important remember that tertiary alcohols doesn't undergo dehydrogenation instead of dehydrogenation dehydration takes place see the carbon atom of any of these methyl groups and this hydroxyl group get detached to form water and there is a formation of isobutene formation of what isobutene 
see the overall view about this reaction dehydrogenation reactions comes under the class of category of reaction that is involvement of both alkyl group and hydroxyl group dehydrogenation means removal of hydrogen from any substrate is called as dehydrogenation the dehydrogenating agent in this reaction is the copper what the dehydrating agent is what copper generally primary alcohols gives aldehydes secondary alcohols gives ketones but tertiary alcohol doesn't undergo dehydrogenation doesn't undergo dehydrogenation instead of dehydrogenation it undergoes dehydration to form isobutene and alkene it is very important that to remember that tertiary alcohols doesn't undergo dehydrogenation reaction as it doesn't contain the alpha hydrogen atom the next reaction is the oxidation reaction it is an example for reaction due to involvement of both alkyl group and the hydroxyl group here oxidation means addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen so various alcohols primary alcohol secondary alcohol and tertiary alcohols undergoes oxidation under different reaction conditions let's see an example one by one so here the oxidizing agents what we are going to use is acidified kmno4 solution or acidified k2cr2o7 solution or chromium trioxide or we can use concentrated nitric acid as an oxidizing agent etc so many oxidizing reagents are available so considering an example of ethyl alcohol that is ethanol ethanol upon reacting with acidified k2cr2o7 or kmno4 or chromium trioxide undergoes oxidation to form a carbonyl compound the carbonyl compound is here see the functional group it is the aldehyde group that means the here the removal of what happens this hydrogens as removed in the form of water in the form of water so to form an carbonyl compound this is an aldehyde the name of the aldehyde is ethanol or common name is acetaldehyde common name is acetaldehyde that means ethyl alcohol which is a primary alcohol undergoes oxidation in presence of acidified kmno4 or k2cr2o7 or chromium trioxide to form acetaldehyde the reaction won't stop here reaction ille nillodilla reaction enagutte continue agutte that means there is a further oxidation of acetaldehyde into acetic acid see the overall reaction is here the ethanol upon oxidation forms initially the aldehyde acetaldehyde the reaction doesn't stop here the reaction continues further oxidation of acetaldehyde takes place to form acetic acid which is containing the same number of carbon atoms as the alcohol containing here you can see the ethyl alcohol contain two carbon atoms here the acetic acid also contain two carbon atoms but in case of secondary alcohols it is not has the case of primary alcohol let's see the example here the secondary alcohol is isopropyl alcohol isopropyl alcohol it also undergoes oxidation initially to form a ketone here this is the ketonic functional group the product is acetone the iupac name is propanone the oxidation reagent is same here it forms what propanone that propanone oxidizes further under harsh conditions to form a carboxylic acid see here also there is a formation of carboxylic acid but when compared to primary alcohol see in case of primary alcohol here it is containing two carbon atoms the final product acetic acid is also contain how many carbon atoms two carbon atoms but in case of secondary alcohol see 1 2 3 here there is a three carbon atom 
it oxidizes to form what a ketone it contain what three carbon atom but as this ketone undergoes further oxidation under drastic conditions it forms a carboxylic acid carbon dioxide and water here see you see the number of carbon atoms is 2 that means initially 3 the final product is what containing carboxylic acid with two carbon atoms that means in a simple way secondary alcohols upon oxidation gives a ketone ketone further oxidizes under drastic conditions to form a carboxylic acid with a lesser number of carbon atoms it is very important see here. the oxidation of secondary alcohols finally to form carboxylic acid with a lesser number of carbon atoms commonly called as oxidative degradation reaction let's see the next example of tertiary alcohol this is tertiary alcohol the tertiary alcohol doesn't undergo oxidation at normal conditions normal conditions only reaction no agala but when you use the strong oxidizing agents under drastic conditions it undergoes oxidation to form alkene to form what alkene remember that primary alcohol and secondary alcohol forms what carbonyl compounds but the tertiary alcohol forms what alkene with the removal of water the alkene formed is isobutane alkene formed is what isobutene the isobutene undergoes further oxidation so this bond double bond c double bond ch2 bond cleaves to form acetone with the elimination of what co2 and h2o and again acetone undergoes further oxidation with the oxidizing agent to form a stick acid remember that the secondary alcohol forms carboxylic acid with less number of carbon atoms as compared to the initial product in the same way the tertiary alcohols also undergoes oxidation under drastic conditions to form the carboxylic acid with lesser number of carbon atoms here you can see here this alcohol contains four carbon atoms when it oxidizes to form a carbonyl compound which is containing three carbon atoms later further oxidation of these acetone forms a carboxylic acid which is containing how many carbon atoms see here two carbon atoms so this is degradation taken place here secondary alcohols and tertiary alcohols undergoes degradation with the formation of carboxylic acids with the lesser number of carbon atoms